What's up, waivers? Welcome to PhD and Waves. Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going over your 360 wave brush angles and your 360 wave crown angles for a 360 wave beehive crown. I already have two videos where I break down these topics individually in more detail, so you guys could check those out if you want to learn more about these two topics. I just wanted to make a quick video to show you guys both your 360 wave brush angles and your 360 wave beehive crown angles in one video. All right, so 360 waves. 360 waves are a circle, so we're gonna brush our hair into a 360 wave pattern to form circles all around our head. So for 360 waves, we have eight angles, and that's gonna form a nice circular 360 wave pattern. So the first angle is right at the top of your head towards your forehead. You're just gonna go straight down Second angle is on the side of the top of your head uh, towards your eyebrow. Your third angle is on the side of your head towards your cheek at a diagonal angle. One thing about the side is everybody has a different angle for their side. If your crown is towards the top of your head, you're going to brush it down at a diagonal. But if your crown is towards the back of your head, you're going to brush straighter. You're going to brush towards, you know, your eye if your crown is at the back of your head. It really just depends on your head shape, your head size, and the position of your crown. Fourth so the angle is at the back side of your head right here towards uh, be right behind your ear. Fifth angle is directly at the back of your head. Sixth angle is on the other side of the back of your head, right here behind your ear. Seventh angle is at the side. Like I said, depending on where your crown is and depending on your head shape and size, your side angle might be a little bit different. Eighth angle is on the other side of the top of your head. One thing I want to go over with your 360 wave angles is you want them to flow into each other. I'm gradually flowing into the next angle because if you look at a circle, a circle gradually curves around. You don't want your pattern to look like a hexagon or a square with a bunch of forks. You're creating a circle, so you want to gradually turn, turn, turn. So as you can see, I'm coming here, coming here, coming here. Come in here, in here, come in here, come in here. I'm slightly changing my angle and I'm going to the next angle gradually to form that nice, perfect circle. So keep that in mind. Now let's get into our crown. The crown also has eight angles and they flow right into our pattern. Since our crown is so small, since it's a small area of our pattern, we do have to use a little bit more precise brush angles. You don't just want to go into your crown with this whole brush, right? You don't want to do that. Even though this is an angle here, you don't want to put that big angle in your crown because that's going to cause a line in your crown. What you want to do is you want to take the tip of the brush and you want to go in there, right? Just like that. So uh, with that being said, let's get into the eight uh, angles for your beehive crown. So boom, first one is right here. And notice how it's flowing right into that angle that we had, right? Look. It's flowing into that side angle. Next angle is right here. And that's also flowing into our, that angle right here. Third angle is down and it's flowing right into that angle right here. All right, fourth angle is right here. And it's flowing right into this angle right here at the back of our head. Fifth angle is to the side and it's flowing right into that side angle. Sixth angle is right here, and it's flowing right into that angle at the top of our head. Then the next angle, we're going straight up, and it's flowing right into that top section of our head. And the last angle is right here. It's flowing right into that angle. Notice how those angles are flowing right into our pattern, the same angles that I showed you guys before. Your crown is the same exact angles. You're just using a smaller tip of your brush to get into that small area. Like I said, you don't wanna use your full brush uh, to get into your crown because you're gonna create 
uh, align in your crown. So those eight angles are gonna create that nice circular crown area. I know some people who only have four angles for their crown, and that's only gonna create a square or a hexagon. Like I said, you wanna gradually form your crown into a circle. So you need those eight precise angles. Some people, they just go here, 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 and here, and that's gonna turn your crown into a square. And it's happened to me before, and I learned from my mistakes, and now I know my correct angles. Those are the same angles that you're gonna use to comb your pattern. Those are the same angles that you're gonna use for your wash and style. It's all the same angles, no matter what you're doing. When you're using these brush angles, you wanna stop just like an inch before your crown. So where you wanna stop is you wanna stop right around here. Like don't go too deep into your crown because you don't want this big brush angle in your crown area. You wanna do precise angles for your crown. Just stop like an inch away from your crown. And then you wanna do a crown isolation. Leave your crown alone separately and work on your crown separately from the rest of your pattern. You wanna go from here and stretch it all the way down to your full crown area. So. So that is it for today's video. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.